Today is Sunday, January 11th of 2015, and this is probably going to be one of my first posts on um, my YouTube that I am going to um, share with other people um, because I'm, I really think it's going to be a good idea for me to get into writing, um, recording, and sharing some of the things that I have on my mind and some of the things that I go through, some of the things that I'm in, th that I'm passionate about, and some of the things that um, I feel like other people will understand. And I say that because um, I'm somebody that tries to relate to other people myself and um, without getting into like all the different things um, which I would do over time in videos I I, I just want to get started today with a subject that has been kind of heavy on my mind as we all have um, approached the new year or embarked on the beginning of the new year rather um, one of the subjects that I have been very tight-lipped about is friendship. And so I had mentioned to a good friend the other day how when the new year comes in, everybody is like, oh, I'm cutting people off and I'm mowing my grass and, you know, basically to find the snakes and all that kind of stuff. And I get all of that. I mean, you do have to do that in life. Um... One of the things that um, I feel that I came to learn through experience is that, you know, you can know 50 people and I'm just using 50 as a random number, but it's kind of high. Um, you can know 50 people, but you're not going to be close to 50 people. You're not going to be close to 50 people and all 50 of them are not going to be that close to you. So it's a two way street. And I'm very clear on that. So when I say you're not going to be close to 50 people, I also mean them too. They're not going to all be close to you. That's just not how it works. And um, it's, it's just human nature to have different levels of relationship with people. And so all 50 of those people are not going to be 50 best friends that will just do anything for you at any given moment. Um, sacrifice for you, be loyal, honest, trustworthy, and so on and so forth. You're just not going to get that. In that 50, there are going to be people who are just there to just be bystanders of your life or to laugh at you, to talk about you. Um, people who are just there to step in in certain situations, which is like um, conditional. So I want to get into that a little bit later, but... You know, it's just impossible to have that many people in your life. And so, um, one of the things that I was saying was that, um, I'm not above being someone in someone's life who is maybe a bystander, who doesn't have something to offer them. You know, I, it, it, when people say I'm cutting everybody off and I'm mowing my, my grass, you know, maybe someone needs to mow their grass and you get exposed or maybe you need to get cut off and it doesn't always have to be for bad reasons because I don't think I'm a bad person I mean no one who's a bad person is gonna say that they're a bad person but I really don't think I'm a bad person and I know a lot of people who know me as they would never say that I'm a bad person so I'm gonna base it off what I know other people I'll bet my last dollar that other people will not say that I'm a bad person but there are things about me that just might might make me someone that another person just doesn't feel needs to be a part of their life. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because I'm okay with that being, you know, for me. I'm okay with finding that, you know, someone is just um, in my life for a certain condition. Basically, a reason, a season, or a lifetime. We're all... A reason, a season, or a lifetime 
at one point or another, except for lifetime, that's just lifetime, but um, at one point or another, we have all been or will be a reason or season to another person. So um, while I believe you should always make sure that whoever you have around you is somebody that will help hold you up, um, you know, there, there are times in life where you have to assess people that are around you, especially when you're trying to get somewhere in life. So um, one of the things that I have been feeling is that um, it's important to me, and it's not a tit for tat thing, but it's important to me that the people that I have close to me, I mean, let's think about it for a second. When you make friends with people and, um, you know, you, you from teenager on, let's say, you literally are like opening the door, come in, make yourself at home. You know what I mean? And you're making, you putting these people right next to you. I can get talked about, misunderstood, laughed at, um, you know, bullied, whatever things that people go through. I can get that from total strangers. Why would I invite that drama? Let me make sure I add that to, um, why would I invite that to come on in, make yourself at home? You understand what I'm saying? So you get to a point in life where you sit down and you assess what you have around you and whether it's something as negative as feeling like people are talking about you or that they can't be relied on. Um, you just have to feel like you are surrounding yourself with a great circle of support so that if you go through a storm in life, you don't lose your way. And um, that's basically how I got on this path. I went through something very terrible in my life. Um, I'm not going to get emotional about it because this is my first video and I don't want to do all of that. But so I'm just going to keep it really short. But I went through something very terrible in my life. And it took me a very long time to get to where I am today. Um, but I think I would have done a better job if I had the right people around me to support me because um, there are a lot of things that I wasn't strong in at the time that the situation occurred. And so my reaction to it pretty much, um, it wasn't very strong at the time. And, you know, I think that when something happens to you and people don't know what to say, they love you, but they don't know what to say or they don't know what to do for you. I can, I, I get that. I, I completely get that. Um, but you need people who will always remind you who you are and stay in it with you. And when you get that instability and when no one's able to remind you of who you are, you can kind of take a nosedive, especially if your faith isn't where it should be, which was also the case for me. So I'm not putting what I did on everybody else, but I think God puts people in your lives for a reason and you should be able to say you know, I need that reason right now. <laughs> and so um, it is it is something that we all should do from one time or another um, as we get older and mature and we know what our needs are. We should look around and see what we have um, right next to us in life so that you know you are building a situation where no matter what you encounter in life, you will stay on your feet. And if you do fall, you need people who will feel like, wait, if she fell, I'm down with her and we got to get up. You understand what I'm saying? That's very important to me because that's what I'm willing to give to people. And that's what I have given to people. And so I think it's only fair that I can have that expectation in return. 
So, um, that's pretty much what I want to say um, as far as that subject goes. But I do want to get more into it because there are some different facets of it that I just really need to get off my heart and off my mind. And there are so many things that I want to do this year now that I have gotten to the place that I am at right now. Um, I don't want that stuff to hold me back. You know what I mean? I want to... I want to release it and I want to focus, you know, fully, completely at 100% on what it is that I want to do going forward. Um, and so, yeah, so I think this would be a great platform for me to um, get that ball rolling. And that is to write and blog, share, and, um, and record these different things that cross my mind so happy 2015 to you and let's look forward to a prosperous year and um a year of changes for the better okay until my next video bye